Hi, my name is Rodney Hill, and today we're going to log into the Atlas Copco customer portal, download a license, move that license to our FMS portable, and then move that license over to a power focus controller. So first thing I will need to do is log into the customer portal. To get to the customer portal, I go to my web browser and I type in atlascopco.flexnetoperations.com. And it will bring me up to a login page. And at this page, I will log in with the credentials that were sent to me via email. If you haven't received those yet, please either check your spam box or check with your Atlas Copco representative to make sure that your account's properly set up. So I'm going to log in with my Atlas Copco email address and password, accept the license terms here and click log in. When I do that, it's gonna bring me up to a page that shows that I'm a member of multiple accounts. So I'm gonna to choose to work on my widget shop account today. If you're just a member of one account, you won't see that, you'll just go directly into your account. So the first page it brings me up to is product information. And really, I don't see any of the licenses here that I'm looking for, so I'm gonna look around a little bit here in the portal, and the first thing I wanna take a look at is my order history. And if I click on order history, I can see here that I placed an order on November 19th, 2019, and I click on the order number, and it actually shows me all the components that are a part of that order. So in this particular order, I ordered eight different line items and a few different quantities of different license types. So now what I need to do to put those licenses onto my portable device, I need to register that device with the portal. So to do that, I go down here to license activation, click on register license manager or USB device, and I'll pick up my FMS portable and on the label here, there'll be either a six or a seven digit number that is my ID. So I will type in the ID of my device, which is 1590091. And I can see up here at the top that I need to change my ID type to publisher defined and my type to USB device. I can also give the device a name, more to identify it for later use, and I can give it a location. If I have multiple locations, maybe I wanna I put what site that that's at. So I'll create the device and it's gonna bring me to a screen now where it shows my device. And if I look down here for features, it tells me that no features are currently mapped. So I will click on map features to map some features to this device. And as I do that, I will see a list that should look much like what was in our order. I have all the things that I purchased in my order and now I can add these licenses to my device. So I have five licenses of the process control here on the first line. I'm gonna to choose to add two of those to this device. I'll add two critical control. I can add a soft PLC and I'll add a low reaction strategy license. So I click map features and it will take me back to my device screen where it will show me that my license is not yet generated. And I see here, I have the four items that I moved to the device and it says license not generated is my status. So now I'll click on download capability response and it will ask me to download a file and this will automatically download into my downloads folder. So I will save this file and you can see I've done this before, so I'm just gonna remove my old file. You can do this over and over. Just make sure you use the most recent file. Now I'll take my FMS portable and put that device into the computer. It will show up as another drive on your computer. On mine, it happens to be the D drive. And right now it's absolutely empty. There's nothing on it and that's good. So I'll go back here to my downloads folder where I downloaded the file and I'm gonna right click, click copy and then bring it over to the other window here and paste it right onto the root level of this device. Don't put it on a folder, right on the root level so the controller knows where to find it. So I'm done here, so I will eject this device. So now that I've moved my license over to the FMS portable device, I'll remove the device from my PC. I'll come over here and connect this to the PowerFocus 6000 controller using the USB port on the front. And as I do that, a dialog will pop up on the controller and I'll take you through that and we'll add some licenses to the controller. So right now it gives me a message saying that it's reading the license information. Please leave the device in the port. So I'll give it a second here to, to finish that process. And when it completes, it comes up here and I have some licenses on my device. And now I can move those to the controller. So I'm gonna grab a couple licenses here. If I click the arrow, I'm moving that device from the portable to my PowerFocus 6000 controller. So I'll move a critical control over um, I'm gonna move a low reaction strategies license over to the controller, and I'll also move a soft PLC license over to the controller. So as I click OK, it'll give me another dialog saying please leave device in the port, it's reading and writing, and then it will tell me when it's completed that I need to restart for new licenses to take effect. And we'll do that when we're finished here. 
and it tells me it's okay to remove the device from the controller. So I'll click close and I will remove the device from the controller. Now there's one more step before I can actually do licensing with that. I need to go into my virtual station on the controller or virtual stations if you have more than one. And I need to choose a virtual station type. Without that, we won't be able to use a tool connected to this virtual station. So I will select the critical control license that I added to this, uh, to this controller. And now I've mapped that to this virtual station inside the PowerFocus 6000. And if I wanted to, I could map additional features like low reaction strategies. Maybe I wanted to use Tensor Pulse with this tool. I could click that and add that to the controller as well. So I've now I've added that feature to this virtual station as well. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please contact your Atlas Copco representative. Thanks a lot.